Alrighty, folks, what is going on, everyone? You know who this is. This is your Yankee Hardcore Pipe Bob Messiah here with you, of course, your personification of greatness when it comes to wrestling talk here on YouTube.com. It is Sunday, February 4th, 2024. Um, we're just a week away from the Super Bowl. Uh, Super Bowl week uh, kicks off tomorrow, so I'll try to do some videos on that. But, anywho... Um, I want to shout out people, uh, yesterday that watched my rant video on the whole Cody Rhodes, Rock situation, what happened on SmackDown this past Friday. Um, over 300 people watched the video, and I do believe that more is counting, uh, on, on the Sunday, but... I actually want to do a response video to that because there's a couple of things that um, it has caught my attention the last 24 hours after doing that video. And there are people in this wrestling community that are saying that um, is it possible that they could put Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes back at WrestleMania 40 and just have The Rock say, hey, um, we'll do that match some other time because if you look at it, there is a lot of negative response out there. Uh, you're seeing so many people disliking the video of The Rock and Roman Reigns going face-to-face -face on SmackDown. Uh, you're seeing the We Want Cody movement really being huge out there the last 24 hours. I mean, it was trending number one on X. And let me let me see if that is still trending. Um, so I don't know how X is these days, but um, I think I do have to hit the search button and see what is trending. Uh, actually, it, it's still number one trending. Over 227,000 people are doing that right now. And it's exactly what I talk about when it comes to revolutions. Those 227,000 people want to see a revolution. They want to see this match at WrestleMania. And, you know... WWE, get live every Monday and Friday. And WWE, they can change direction anytime they want and pivot to something different. Um, because a lot of people, like I said, they want to see Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. They want to see Cody Rhodes finish the story. Um, will they do it? I don't know. But I, I hate to say this, and this is actually the truth. My gut is telling me that they ain't going to change it. Because WrestleMania for them, it, it's a money maker for them, for the WWE. And the fact that, you know, The Rock, and I know he's seeing the responses. I know he's seen a lot of the negativity out there. But The Rock, he's not going to talk about it. You know, he's not going to respond to it. In fact, the guy actually, what? Went on Twitter today, and I'm going to read this to you, and I quote, There's no word for this explosive, insane reaction. Undeniable. No matter the era, the decade, or the city, the energy and connection between the people's champ and the people can never be broken and is truly an electrifying experience that creates chills every single time. Thank you, Birmingham, Alabama. We made magical history in the Magic City. Thank you, WWE, and thank you, Cody, for the love and the house. Dream and Soul Man. Roman... There's only one head at the table. I'll see you in Vegas. See? And this one person is 
was saying, are you trying to convince yourself? Of course, he's not going to talk about the negative responses because he still wants to keep the freaking energy going. And he's making it much worse. But I do know that WWE, they were monitoring the responses as well. But are they going to change their direction? No. Because it's going to be, to them, politics over people. And that's what you're seeing in this situation over here. And another thing, and I was actually, uh, I somebody alluded to this. Because I did see this on our Ringside News, and I don't even read their shit, by the way, Ringside News. They're fake news, by the way. That um, whoever's going to win this match at WrestleMania, um, Cody Rhodes is going to face the winner. And they're going to unify the titles. Um, that scenario was never talked about. To begin with. And unfortunately for these freaking dirt sheeters out there like uh, Ringside News. They're just making themselves look like freaking idiots. You know what I'm saying? Like, they freaking twist freaking wrestling journalism and do it because what? They want to fucking get clicks. Like, Ringside News, that's a cop. They're cop freaking chasers. That's what they're doing. What they did, saying that um, Cody Rhodes is going to face the winner of uh, the Rock versus Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. They did it for their clout. Freaking idiots. That's what they are. So, that's pretty much what I gotta say on this. I know there's gonna be more um, talk about this uh, WrestleMania. Uh, main event here in the coming weeks because um, you know, it's what everybody's talking about um, and Like I said, thank you guys for watching the videos because uh Yeah, I mean these last couple of weeks man um, I Don't rarely do wrestling videos. I mostly focus on sports on this channel unless something big happens in the world of wrestling or we have like a pay per view coming up, but um, man, um, with the rumble with Vince and now this story, I don't know what's going to happen next, man. I'll just tell you that until then, I'm out. Peace.